How you doing today? Mark Franks here. Guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to set up a dual monitor setup from start to finish. So I'm gonna wipe out my entire desk in the background and from scratch to finish, I'm gonna show you how to set up a dual monitor setup on your Mac mini or set up a dual monitor setup on your PC laptop. All right, so if you're scratching your head, if you're a teacher, if you work from home, or you just don't know how to set up a dual monitor setup, well, this is gonna be the video for you guys, because I'm gonna show you how to do it from the beginning to the end. So buckle your seat belts, this is the video for you. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so I went ahead and stripped my desk clean here. So all I have is my 74 inch desk and I'm gonna go over the parts that you need to get a dual monitor set up working for you. So the first thing that I want you guys to do, I want you guys to go out and buy a monitor. Now this right here, this is a Scepter monitor, 24 inch business IPS monitor. I bought it originally for $129, but right now it's on Amazon for $89. Now, prices are subject to change, but this is a nice monitor. It's a 1080p, not a 4K monitor, but most people don't need 4K monitors. Uh, most people are not gonna be using 4K monitors. Uh, 1080p resolution works just fine. Uh, very vibrant and very crisp pictures here. All right, so get you a monitor. This is a 24 inch monitor. Get you two of these. Currently right now, the price is $89 again. So I have two of them here and, and behind it, it has H2 HDMI ports, guys, and it has a VGA port. Now, I believe the newer ones may have different ones. I'll let you guys know the newer ones. This is an older model. I bought this in 2021. The newer, newer ones may have a, instead of a VGA port, may have a DVI port. So get two of these first. Next, what you're gonna need, you're gonna need a stand, all right? So, I mean, it's up to you guys if you wanna put, uh, put it like a little wooden stand here because the monitors do come with their own stand, but I would recommend is getting a stand. Uh, what I got is a Vivo stand. So this is what it looks like. So what it'll do is it'll sit up high. So you'll have your monitors up high because if you don't have the stand, you could just use a regular monitor stand, but your monitors will be like eye level and it won't be up higher. You'll have to buy maybe a wooden, an extra wooden stand. And I'll put that down also in the uh, description, but I, I find that this works best. This is an articulating Vivo stand. So you can, you, can, you can have a monitor that's horizontal, you can change it, make another monitor vertical, and it just moves around, uh, very easy movement. You can design it kind of how you want, all right? The, the articulation on here is actually very, very good. Now I'm not going, this is already put this together, now when you get it, it'll come with just one pole. And this is the top part here, guys. I'm gonna do a quick synopsis. It'll come with just one pole. And what you'll do, you'll put this arm here, you'll put it over the pole, and you have an alley wrench screw. It'll come with an alley wrench where you can tighten it up. So it'll come with one little pole. you put this arm over the pole here, and it has an alley wrench screw, and you can just tighten it up. All right, you can, you can set it what height you want. It can go down a little bit further, or you can have it up a little bit higher, and you just tighten it that way. Now on the bottom, if you guys can see that, I have all my little cable management things falling down. On the bottom here, you may not be able to see that. There's some screws here. You'll stick this plate here, this little plate that says Vivo. You'll screw this in with some alley wrench screws that'll come with this stand. It's actually, it don't make it difficult. It's actually a, an easy setup. And then lastly, this clamp here, this is a clamp that clamps into your desk. You will attach this clamp to the back of the pole like with these two screws here. So this clamp here, you attach it to the back, I'm sorry, you attach it to the front and then you put the screws in the back, like here. So it's actually very easy to set up and then you have your little cable management, uh, little plastic devices here. You put that on here, a couple of them fail, but it's very easy to set up, all right? So this is gonna be the Vivo stand. I bought this for like $30 and I believe it's still $30, it's $28, $28 to $30 on Amazon and I'll leave the link down below. All right, so that's what we need here. All right, so next you wanna go ahead and get a USB-C to dual HDMI adapter. So it's a USB-C at a tip to a dual HDMI adapter. So this USB-C will plug into your laptop and you'll have two HDMI ports where you can plug your monitors in. So you wanna make sure you get this. I'll put this in the link down below. Now, if your computer doesn't have this, let's say you have a 
an older laptop let's say you have an older laptop that doesn't have a USB-C port or it doesn't or it doesn't have a lightning port it just has a USB-A or a USB 3.0 port then you're going to need a USB 3.0 to dual HDMI adapter here so it's a USB 3.0 and this should work on a USB 2.0 uh, or a USB-A as well but for an older legacy laptop you use a USB 3.0 at the tip here you see the little blue trim to a dual HDMI adapter here all right so you'll need you'll need at least one of these two here and then what you'll need guys and this is the last thing that you'll need you need to get some HDMI cords here so initially you just need two HDMI cords but I'll just say get a third HDMI cord just in case but you just need two HDMI cords to go to your first monitor to that uh, to that dual adapter and your second monitor to the dual adapter. And just to be on the safe side, just get you an extra HDMI cord. These don't have to be like six feet or, or they can be uh, uh, a little bit smaller. They can be two to four feet in length. But you just need three. I mean, I'm sorry, you just need two HDMI cords and just a third one for extra. And that's pretty much that's pretty much what you need to kind of get it started so let, let me go ahead and show you how to set it up all right so now that i have everything that i need here one of the first things i want to do is i want to attach these brackets to the back of the monitor so what i'll do here is i'll grab the monitor and your monitor should have these holes here for to wall mount it but we're not going to wall mount it we're going to we're going to put it on this stand here and you, you attach the bracket like this. So this part right here will be sticking out and you'll place it here and you, you, you have screws that you'll, you'll just tight, you'll just screw it in. Now you don't need to use your screwdriver. You can just use your hands and I'll show you here momentarily. And you just place it right here and you screw each one of them in. And then what you'll do is once your stand is on the desk, you'll just place this on your stand just like that and it'll just sit on your stand. It's not complicated, it's actually very simple. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm gonna do here, I have, I have three, I have four screws here. I'm gonna go ahead and attach this right here and I'm gonna hold it. And I'm just gonna do it for you guys. You guys can have it laying down and, and you can just go ahead and screw it in. But just to show you guys, I'm just gonna have it like this. And here's the screw. Now it does have an imprint for a screwdriver. If you wanna use a screwdriver, I, just, I don't recommend it. Just use your hands and I'm gonna line it up. And I'm just gonna screw it in here. Now it'll probably be a little bit easier if it's just laying down. You can lay your monitor down, lay it on a uh, couch or a bed or something with some cloth. It'll be easier. So I just screw that in there. I'll screw it a little bit tighter. You don't really need a screwdriver. There you have it. All right, so I'll go ahead and screw the rest of them in here. And if you have a different monitor, it does have different holes here, guys. It has different holes where you can put a smaller monitor in. These stands right here can fit up to two 30-inch monitors, and they can each be about 22 pounds. This is a 24-inch monitor, so it'll fit, it'll fit just right on this stand, but it can fit up to 32 30-inch monitors. So I got this done. Let's go ahead and do the next one here pretty quickly. Remember, this is how it's going to go. Okay, so now that the monitors are done, Guys, we're gonna go ahead and put this stand on my desk here. So basically what, it, what it'll do is, I'll, I'll bring it down. It'll go in between my desk. My desk is like this, it'll go in between, then I'll tighten it up. Very simple. If I do it on this side, it'll just go just like this, and then it will tighten it up. So I'm gonna do it from behind. So just remember just to keep it simple. I'm gonna loosen it down, I'm gonna take it down. You go to the left and it'll loosen it down and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring my desk out right here and I'm going to put it behind my desk. So I'm going to put it behind like this 
and that's how it should fit. All right. So I will slide my desk back and, it'll, and then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and screw the rest in. So I'm going to get under my desk. Uh, what I'll do is I'll hold it. And when you want to make sure it's centered, make sure it's centered. Looks like it's centered. Looks like we're good to go. Make sure you're good here. Yeah. And then I'll, what I'll do is, and if you need some help, you can get somebody else to help you, but I'll hold it and then I'll go ahead and tighten it. Then what you do is you'll go, you'll go right. So there we have it. I screwed it in and now it's tight. It's not going anywhere. I can move the arms. It's good. So let's go ahead and put the monitors on. Go ahead and straighten it out here so I can put the monitors on. So this is sturdy guys and that's the way you want it. If it's not sturdy, just make sure to tighten it underneath. All right. So now that I have the monitors, the brackets on the monitor and you have this little bracket right here, this little metal part it'll do with the hole it'll sit on top it'll sit on top of your vivo stand with this screw right here so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and it's very easy don't make it difficult it has some impressions that it just slides down there as well you just slide it on here so i'll go ahead and slide it on here and then the screw will go through the hole and then i can flip it like that and then it has these two nuts and what you'll do is you'll just screw it on the nuts. If you guys can see it like this, once you put that monitor on, you'll just screw this on top of it. So once that monitor goes down here, you'll just put this on top and then you just screw it like that and then you're good to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the, so since I put the monitor here on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and screw this one here. And that's it, I'll move that monitor back. For this one, same thing. Go ahead, it'll sit on it'll sit on this screw part right here and it'll go through. It'll go, these brackets right here will go on top of this part and it'll slide right down. So I'm gonna do that. All right, did that, slid right down. I'm gonna take this nut here and I'm gonna screw it on. And that's it. Now I do see that it is moved a little bit. That's why I don't have it as tight on here. I thought it was stirred out. I just have to make sure that's a little bit tighter underneath. But it's, it's for the most part, it's pretty good, guys. Don't make it difficult. Uh, you, the more complex you make it, the harder it is. It's very easy to just throw that down on there. And now you have two monitors here and it looks good. So what you can do is, guys, with here you have horizontal. If I wanted to, I can make this one vertical. I can move it around a little bit, put it in front, put this one in front as well. Good, artic good articulation, move it up a little bit, move it down. And what you can do is if it's too loose, guys, if it's too loose, there's a spot in the back here, right here, where you can take an alley wrench and just tighten it. So everything can be tightened. You just take an alley wrench and tighten it from here. You can take an alley wrench and tighten this part right here on the handlebar. But then you can move it how you see fit. You can push it back and move it. Make sure you just have some leeway in the back of your desk. It can't be all up against your wall. If it's if it's far up against your wall, then it'll then it won't be able to curve. So you want to leave some space, maybe like uh, three or four inches from your wall, so you can put it together. But it can it can articulate pretty well. You can, let well, me try to put it together like this and put this so I can put them together. Be almost like an M in the back. And then you can finagle that a little bit and you can put them together. It's actually, you can do it like that. Now it's not perfect. I'm just kind of showing you guys really quickly here how you can, how you can articulate these monitors. All right. So this is how you set this portion up. Let's go ahead and finish setting everything up.
All right, so the first device I want to use to go ahead and hook these dual monitors up is going to be my Mac Mini. And then I'll use my Windows computer, my Windows laptop, which most of you guys are probably using. But if you have a MacBook Air, you can't set up dual monitors without some, some software. But if you have a MacBook Pro, then you should be able to set up dual monitors, no problem. All right, so this is what we're going to use, guys. And you have two USB-C ports or Thunderbolt ports. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use my USB-C to dual HDMI adapter. Now with a Mac Mini, the dual HDMI adapter is not going to work as far as putting both HDMI cores into each one of these devices. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this here. And for this Mac Mini, I'll put one HDMI cord into this HDMI adapter here and the other HDMI will go into this HDMI input that's on the device itself. All right, so that's the difference between, between the Mac Mini. Now, typically you could just get an, an USB-C to a single HDMI adapter and that'll work as well. But if you have a dual, a dual HDMI adapter laying around, <clears throat> it'll still work. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and plug, I'm gonna get an HDMI cord <clears throat> and I'm gonna go ahead and plug into one in just preferably the first one all right so that's how it should go into one end if you have a mac mini now this end is going to go into the back of my monitor so i'm going to go ahead and put it to the back of the monitor so go here and find the hdmi port in the back of your monitor i see it here you can put in the hdmi port one and that portion is done that portion is done so i have it in the, in the first in the first uh, usb-c port or lightning bolt port and that's done now for the second monitor For the second monitor for the Mac mini, I'm gonna go ahead and put it where it says HDMI. It's so open port, it's an open port for HDMI. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here. All right, so that port is done. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the back of my monitor. I'll put it in HDMI one. So again, quick synopsis. The first one with the USB-C adapter goes into the Thunderbolt port. And then the second HDMI, or that, this Thunderbolt port, this HDMI feeds into your first monitor. And the second monitor will go straight into the HDMI port and that feeds into the second monitor. And that is how you do a physical dual monitor connection with your Mac, uh, with your Mac Mini device. So let's go ahead and do one with your Windows device. And then let's go ahead and set up your extended monitors. I'll show you guys how to do that uh, when, when you turn a computer on. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, so for a Windows computer, the physical setup process is gonna be even easier. So guys, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the USB-C adapter. We're gonna plug it in here. Now, if you're, if you're, and this, I have a Surface Pro 7 Plus. This is, it's just like a typical laptop, Windows PC laptop. Guys, if your USB-C, if you bought an adapter and it doesn't work, if this doesn't work, then you just might have an older adapter or it's just not compatible. Then you just use this USB port here. You can use USB 3.0. Usually it's the blue tip. Here, this is a USB 3.0 to dual HDMI, HDMI adapter. All right, so what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna plug it in here. And with the PC, you can use both of these. So you can use both of these for a dual monitor setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my first HDMI cable in here. And this should work. This should work on most uh, Windows, new Windows PC. So I'll put the first one in here and I'll go ahead and put my second HDMI cord in here. So it'll look just like this and it's generally gonna be plug and play. So when you have your system on, you have your, computer, your monitors on, you just plug this in and it'll, it'll recognize it. But when it recognizes it, guys, it'll recognize it and most likely your screens will be duplicate and you'll need to change that to an extended because most people are looking for an extended monitor setup. All right, so then looking on one monitor, they can have an app and they can move it to, uh, move it to a different monitor. All right, so let's go ahead and plug this into the monitor here. So I'm gonna, like this, I'm gonna set it up here let me go ahead and put it on this kickstand. And now I'm gonna go ahead and plug it up. Go ahead and do that. Plug it into HDMI one. 
just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and plug this one into HDMI one on the second monitor, just like this here. Make sure that's snug in there. And then there you have it. And what it'll do here, once everything is on, it'll automatically detect the two monitors. And then you'll have a dual monitor setup. You just have to go ahead and go into the settings and make sure it's extended instead of duplicate. All right, guys, so I went ahead and added everything back. I put my speakers back, my microphone, decorations, uh, power adapter, mouse, keyboard. I added everything back and I have my Mac mini set up with dual monitor setup. As you can see, these are dual monitors. It's an extended monitor. I can go ahead and open this and it's just extended. Now, when you, if you first plug in the, the dual adapter, dual HDMI adapter, it may be a duplicate screen. Now, this is what a duplicate screen looks like. Basically, what I'll do is I'll go to the Apple, I'll go to system settings, and then I'll go down to what it says. It'll say displays. And then it says use as, right now is, it says extended display. So it says use as, right now it says extended display. Now, if I, had, and I, if I put mirror for Scepter, F24, like mirror, now they're both duplicate. As you can see, both of my, uh, my monitors here are duplicate, all right? And you may have this right when you hook up your USB-C to the dual HDMI adapter. Your, your, your most, a lot of Windows computers, they'll have that once you plug it in, it'll, it'll be a duplicate. So all you do is you just go to use as and go here again and hit, you'll hit stop mirroring. Usually when you hit stop mirroring, it'll autom automatically put it in a, an extended display. So now what you can do is you can have a display between these two here. Now, if you have these bars right here, let's say this bar right here, you want it on this screen, or, or you want this screen right here to be the main screen and that screen extended, all you have to do is go to arrange, and then you'll be able to either, just, you'll see the bar strip right here. You can bring the bar to the second monitor and it'll switch it for you. So this now is gonna be the main monitor and this is gonna be the extended monitor. So let me do that again. I'm gonna switch it back here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this as a little bar you'll see, and I'll put that bar, hold on here, let me put it, I'll put that bar on this one here. You'll see it here. I'll move that bar over. I'll move that over. Now you see it on the other screen. All right. So again, if you want to switch the bars or switch screens, you just go to a range and switch it. You can, you can uh, switch your whole laptop. I'm sorry. You can switch your whole monitor. If I bring it like this, I hold it and I bring it like that. Bring it over here. Now this monitor switch. Let's say if I put my monitor one, I put my monitor one on the right side, I put my monitor two on this side, and it just doesn't look right. You can always go to a range and switch your monitors. All right. So right now I, I can't go dual monitor here because it, I have to go always to the left and it's it, it, then it goes on the extended monitor. So if you if you have it like that, if it's not where you your mouse can't go back and forth to both monitors, you have to go way to the left, way to the right. Then you just, you need to, you just need to rearrange your monitors. You'll go back to arrange and bring this monitor over, bring this monitor over to this side over here and bring that down, hold on. Now I can, I can go between each one. And you can see that mouse, I can go between and I can bring my window between each monitor instead of going all the way to the left and it, it'll go on, on this side here. All right, so that's how you do an extended uh, monitor on your Mac mini, pretty much in a nutshell. Remember guys, all you have to do Right when you plug that uh, USB to HDMI adapter in and you have your HDMI cord plugging to the outlet in the back of your Mac mini, you just go to the Apple here, you go to system settings, and you go all, all the way down to where it says displays, displays here, and then where it says use as, make sure it's extended display. It may say mirror, if it's mirroring, that means both of them look the same. Then you just go to use as and you'll click on your monitor so it'll say stop mirroring. When you hit the stop mirroring uh, button, it'll automatically go into an extended display that you can take your windows and put in an extended, that you can bring your, bring your windows to different monitors. So it looks like that. So let's go ahead and move on to the Windows PC. All right, so I have my USB-C to do an HDMI adapter plug into my Windows laptop. Now this is my Surface Pro 7 Plus, and this is probably what most of you guys will have. You guys, most of you guys will have a Windows laptop. So I have it plugged in and I have my Windows laptop and I have the dual monitors up above and both of these monitors are duplicate as you can see. Same thing here, 
they're, they're duplicate. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to extend the monitors. And I'm gonna show you also how to close your lid because a lot of people, when they extend their monitors, when they have one main monitor and one extended, they also wanna close the lid, lid of, their, of their laptop. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the first thing we wanna do is, we we'll go to my main screen down here. All right, so now I wanna go ahead and right click on my main screen. I'm gonna go ahead and go down to where it says display settings. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down because it's up above. All right, so display settings. Right now we see the, my main monitor and I see monitors two and three, they're together indicating that it is duplicate. So it, it says it as well, it says duplicate, it's duplicate desktop on two and three. So what I wanna do is I wanna extend that instead of duplicate it. So I'm going to click on two and three. And I'm gonna go down to the drop down box here where it says duplicate desktop on two and three. I'm gonna click it. Now, next I'm gonna go to where it says extend desktop on two and three. So I'm gonna click that. And I'm gonna hit keep changes. And now my desktop is extended on, on uh, two and three. So now this window can go on all three different monitors. And when I say all three different monitors, I mean the two, two monitors up here and my laptop. So it's all extended. I can put multiple windows on different uh, different screens. So this is primarily what everybody's looking for. I can uh, leave one right here. Hold on, let's, I can open up something else. Let's open up a different windows and hit this plus arrow. Let's just say I want to do Yahoo. And I can just bring that over to this screen. So I have this screen and then I have my laptop down below. So it's just all different screens. If you guys can see that, I know the lights may be a little bit bright, but it is different screens on every monitor. All right. So this is what most people are looking for. So this is a dual monitor setup. So again, to make that happen, because when you plug this adapter in, it may, you may have duplicate monitors up, up above. So again, to make that happen, all you're doing is right clicking. Let me go ahead and minimize everything. All you're doing is right clicking on your desktop and going to where it says display settings. And it's going to identify your displays. And then you're going to go to the display that you want to extend. No, and remember three and two were together. So we clicked on three and two and I, I hit this drop down box and I hit extend. All right. So now to, to close the lid, because after you extend your monitors, most people, they're going to want to close their lid and put their laptop aside. So this is what you're going to do. Uh, while you're in settings, and remember I clicked on, I right clicked in my, on my desktop, anywhere on my desktop, and I went to display settings. While you're in display settings, you go to where it says find a setting. We'll go to search. It says find a setting right here. And what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and type in lid. So I'm going to type in L-I-D and I'm going to hit enter. It says change what, what closing the lid does. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And you see where it says when I close the lid, right now it's set to sleep when it's on battery and it's set to sleep when it's plugged in. So what you're going to want to do is you want to hit this drop down box and go to where it says do nothing. When, it, when I close my lid, when it's on battery, do nothing. And when I close my lid, when it's on battery, when it's plugged in, do nothing. And I'm going to go ahead and hit save changes. So when I close this lid now, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to sleep. It's not going to turn anything off. So I'm going to close this lid. I'll close it right now. And voila. So it now this this became one monitor and, it's, and this is an extended. Now, guys, remember, when I did this before,